many times we have uh, deal with the concept of what people call bitul Torah. What's a bitul Torah, first of all? Anybody knows bitul Torah? What does it mean? Can you translate to me in English what bitul Torah is? Bitul. Literary. Nullifying Torah. Nullifying Torah. Not wasting Torah. Bitul. Waste is lebazbez. Bizbut Torah. Levatel. Bitul Torah. I'm saying Torah right now. Batel for me. I don't want to. Lo lehid batel mi Torah. Lehid batel is when you are lazy about Torah. Bitul Torah is when you say, it's not important to me right now. Bitul Torah. That's not important to me right now. This is a very terrible thing. You're going to come to Shammai, we're going to ask you, uh, Elia, <laughs> what happened? The Torah didn't exist to you three quarters of your life. You dismissed it? Me? It was busy. The Torah is very important to me. And they will call you a liar. So how do you measure what Bitul Torah is? Huh? I'll tell you the following. Yeah, you asked me this question before, Yitzhak. What would someone ask you to do, for example? Hmm? Give me. Go shopping. Go shopping. Your mother asked you to go shopping. Let me ask you a question. If you were work, if you were at work, would your mother ask you to go shopping? If you were at work, would you tell your mother, uh, I'll go shopping? You want to measure how to measure what Bitul Torah is? I'll tell you what Bitul Torah. Anything that you would not do if you had a job and you would work, that's Bitul Torah. That's Bitul Torah. Very easy to measure. So don't tell me if you're about, let's say you're about to uh, close on a house. Let's say you're in real estate, you're about to close on a house. You're about to close on a house. And your cousin is getting married. Would you close the deal or you go to your cousin's wedding? What do you think you would do, Eitan? I'd close this cousin to me. You? As, how close is your cousin to you? You're going to lose uh, your deal. Hmm? You're about to close on a, uh, on a house that you could sell for a million dollars and you're going to get it for $200,000. If you don't come, you don't close. You go to your cousin's wedding? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's Bitul Torah for you. Okay? The Gra. The Gaomi Vilna. Didn't see his sister for 20 years. Didn't see his sister for 20 years. So finally, his sister came to visit him. He went in from his room. Say, Shalom Aleichem, how are you? Sheikh Yano, Vicky Manu, whatever Bacha he said. Went back to learning. So his sister said to him, Elie, vus is dus. I didn't, you didn't see me for 20 years. He said, well, I just did. He went back to learning. <coughs> okay? So that's your Bitul Torah. If you have a, you have to close, you have a job, let's say, uh, let's say you work in a law firm, right? You just got a job at a law firm. You just got a job at a law firm. Paying you $120,000 a year. And your friends tell you, uh, we have a basketball game today. We need you. 
We want to come play? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'll come play. Oh, oh play. Next time you come to play, instead of coming to learn, that's Bitul Torah. And you got to get punished for that. Don't tell me I didn't give you a scale. Okay? That's Bitul Torah Rabotai. However, if you're tired and you're resting so you can learn more, that's Hechsher Mitzvah. Don't tell me you're busy. You're busy doing what? In the scheme of things. In the scheme of things. You're busy doing what? Anything that you'll do, you could regret because you could have done something better. Anything that you could do, you could find something that would be better. Besides Talmud Torah. So not only it's a waste of Torah, it's a waste of your time. And time is one thing that you could never have more than what you prescribe. So let's go to learning. Have a nice day.